Hey guys, this is KVN back on YouTube. Um, so for today, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a dual monitor setup with the MacBook Air, and also works with the Windows and other MacBooks, MacBook Pro. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, and I'm gonna show you guys how to install the driver. Um, I'm trying to make this video as simple as possible and short as possible and more um, educational as possible. So um, this is a USB 3.0 to HDMI and VGA. So you can hook up one monitor with the VGA and the other one with the HDMI. Um, works pretty good. Makes each monitor work individually. Um, so this is a pretty good product um, I got this one I'm at local electronic store for around 60 bucks it was pretty pricey but it's worth it at the end um, it works pretty nice this does have a nice metallic feel to it um, this feel high quality nice metallic finish with a nice nice cable so I'm going to show you guys how to install the drivers in a bit. Hold up. So if you guys do want to install the drivers, I'm also going to leave a link on the video. Alright guys, so you're also going to start with by going to, if you want, it's www.j5create.com So, search that up. Then, you would go to drivers, sorry about that. So click on drivers, scroll down, try to look for the model number of your product. Um, also, just check the picture make sure they both match so since we are using a MacBook we're gonna install the Mac driver just click this Mac driver if you're Windows you click the Windows driver so it's a download a little file right here in the bottom left so you want to click that after that's fully downloaded um, then it's the little pages that come out like this. So depending on the Mac um, software you're running. So I'm using a later 2014 model, so but the latest update. So then click uh, continue, continue, install, continue installation. Um, it's an ask for your Mac password. install software um, depending on your computer this might take up to two minutes or a minute so just give it some time okay so once its installation is successfully click restart and then move the thing to trash and your MacBook will shut down and it will do a full reset so I kind of speed up the process a bit. So, but yes, your uh, MacBook will fully restart. So before you plug in the adapter, you do have to download this driver to make it function. Because if you do plug it in before the driver, nothing's gonna happen. Um, your MacBook will not respond to it. So, so one monitor, so to go VGA. And the other monitor to so be plugged in with the uh, HDMI. Honestly, from using this adapter, the VGI and HDMI are kind of hard to tell. They're both pretty good. So the quality of picture should be equally. So then just plug this in. 
directly to your MacBook Air, simple as that. After that, you wanna click the left Apple system preferences. Then you wanna click displays. After that, you wanna to go to arrangement and arrange your monitors. You should have two monitors and you can arrange them left and right depending on your setup okay so once that is done you pretty much have your setup done so your monitor should look like mine you should be able to move from left to right um, this does pretty much help a lot once um, you're multitasking working on two things at one time it really does help out a lot in your production this is pretty convenient let's say you're doing research on one monitor and then gaming on the other um, it's just convenient I just love it I do recommend you guys to uh, do a dual monitor setup um, I, I didn't want to go with the triple monitor setup just because of how big my monitors are they're both 27 inch and my desk is not that big so the third one would be kind of overkill it would be bigger than my desk um so yeah if you guys do like this video like and subscribe um if this was helpful um also give it a thumbs up so yeah see you guys in the next video peace